Hello everybody, this is the Goofs and Fox coming at you with a match here in the Gym Command Light Armor. This is going to be a 350 cost match here on City Ruins, so I'm going to be using the level 2 Gym Command Light Armor here. And the suit is a raid. Came out a while ago for the limited missions that I think were around Christmas. The Gym Command Light Armor itself did start out as a token pack suit when it was only a level 1. Then when the limited missions released, they not only bought the level 1 for people to get, but they also introduced a brand new level 2 variant, so that's some nice stuff there. I have used it at both cost, and at 300, I could definitely see why it gained the, kind of like the reputation it did back when it released as a token pack suit, because... Yeah, I can easily say that this suit is a really nice suit, and even at 350 here, I feel like I've been able to do fairly well with it despite its weaknesses, with the main one there being just very low resistances, you know, being a light armor suit. You're not going to have a lot of resistances, you don't have a lot of HP either, so definitely, like, the amount of damage you take using this suit is something you want to be wary of. But aside from that, the rest of this unit is pretty solid, even when it comes to most of the weapons, and I'll go over that right now, because we're going to start with the main weapon that I'll be using for this match. This is the default weapon, the Gym Command Light Armor Beam Gun, and this is a pretty nice weapon because it's not the same beam gun that the, like, the original Gym Command uses. I think that one's called the Stripped Beam Rifle. Which I think this one, yeah, is just called the Light Armor Beam Rifle. And this is very nice because it can get a stun in two shots. And it has ASL as well, so it has some pretty nice strengths going in for it here for being the default weapon. Also being a beam weapon, it does do some decent damage at this cost, so that's another good thing about it there. You can also switch this out for the Bullpup Machine Gun or the Hyper Bazooka. I'm not really sure how the bullpup would fare. I don't think it would be that bad with the bullpup, but I think just with the beam gun, it, it's, the beam gun is just a much better alternative. The only thing you have to watch out is your heat rate, because if you fire this thing three rounds like consecutively without stopping, then yes, you will overheat it. But aside from that, I don't think it's that hard to manage, especially if it's like... You know, you do have the other sub-weapons as well that I'll go into that you can kind of use between those shots to help you out there. Um, if anything, I'd say the Hyper Bazooka would probably be the next best alternative, just because, you know, instant stun, uh, melee, so... Probably the other, like, second best weapon I can name, but I think, yeah, the Beam Gun would probably be the best weapon I think this thing could use as a default. I'm getting off track here, so <laughs> we'll move on to the next weapon, the Beam Saber Late Model 2. And I want to focus on this because this connects into probably the most notable and probably also infamous thing about this suit here, that being the Downswing. And if you've seen this thing do a Downswing, you have seen that it can do a lot of damage for <laughs> what it is. And yeah, you'll really just notice it against most things. You can really just take chunks of damage out of enemies' health, generals, supports, other raids. It is very nice. Now, the issue is you can't really follow it up after you downswing somebody, which means you'll have to go for a neutral, which does do less damage. So you do want to maximize, you know, how much of that downswing you're using with this suit, or really just melee in general. Though this also does bring me to another point that the suit does only have melee combo controller level 1, so you do only have two melee swings using that, but otherwise really good melee. And for your secondary weapons, you have the head Vulcan late model. Pretty standard stuff there, pretty standard Vulcans, you can boost with them, and they just do all the typical Vulcan things. You also have some hand grenades, which, you know, you chuck them, do some damage, Again, pretty simple, like, gym loadout here. And then you have the Commando Shield. I don't know why I put that weird space there. Yeah, the Commando Shield. Pretty much the same shield that the other gym commands use. And for this suit here, it is really nice to have. Because, again, you have low HP and low defenses. So you want to maximize how much you can actually defend yourself. 
Uh, probably putting some shield parts on it would be really nice just to make sure you're taking as minimum damage to your mobile suit itself as you possibly can. So yeah, that's everything for the weapons there. Again, pretty standard kit, but the beam gun and the melee are really what kind of make this suit worth it. Again, especially the melee. Like that, you can just do a lot of damage. So, if you're playing this, yeah, you really want to make use of that as much as possible. Now, the beam gun's also good, though, because it does do some alright damage. And um, stunning in two shots is pretty nice, especially when you can easily set it up like you just saw me do here. So, some nice things you can do there. Oh, you also have emergency evasion system level 1, so you got a basic dodge roll. Then you also have Shield Break Stance Mastery, so if your shield gets destroyed, you don't have to worry about getting stunned, which is a another good pro of this suit. And actually, that might be one of the lowest cost suits that have this skill. If I'm actually remembering that correctly, it might actually fall under that, so... Yeah, very nice thing to have there, especially on a raid such as this where people might try to destroy your shield just so it will make you a bit more vulnerable so again just overall some very nice things going on for this suit here and yeah if you do have it I would recommend using it at least at its native cost 350 might get a bit iffy well actually I should even mention two with 300 that might be a bit different now because um, this is an older match, this is before the recent Thunderbolt ad guys got released, and, well, the gunner, the firepower type ad guy, that being the general with the machine gun, I would be, frankly, quite worried to see what that thing can do to this suit, because, yeah, that firepower ad guy can already do some really decent damage against raids and just other suits in general, so... That might be a bit of a risk to this suit here in the current meta, but aside from that, I think most of the things really won't give you a problem. Should be pretty much good to go if you are using it. And, well, yeah, that's everything I have to say about the really Gym Command Light Armor overall. Really, really nice suit. One that I would say is worth having, worth using. Hopefully it gets added to the Recycle Ticket Store or something, so those who you know, maybe couldn't play the limited mission events or didn't get it. Even like the level 2, because the level 1 was very easy to get, I think, but if you didn't get the level 2, I think that'd be another one that might be kind of worth having. So you can see here, like, yeah, doing really decent damage against what I think was a Zaku 2 FS. So, yeah, again, just doing a lot of damage to a general unit, but I think we're going to be nearing the, yep, timeout mission over. And real quick, we'll see how we did here in the Gym Command Light Armor. Mission completed. Good works going around. And we'll see what the final stats are. And did get top in individual score for this match here. And we put two change. Sending, maybe, yep, sending a few praises around. First place overall with 8 kills and 3 loss. Not too shabby there. And... Yeah, that's going to do it for the match there, and yeah, as I was saying, overall, really good suit, one that is, again, just going to be worth having, because I think it's going to be in a pretty high spot as a mainstay, at least 300 cost raid. 350 might have some better options, especially with that HP, low HP and low resistances for this suit. 350 might have a few better things in there that would be a bit more useful and probably have a bit more survivability. But at 300, yeah, I think this suit's going to stick around for quite a while. And yeah, that's going to do it for this video here. Comment down below what you think about the Gym Command Light Armor. Remember to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. And with that, I will see you all in the next one. Later.